It's the New York Yankees going up against the New York Mets. All right, first pitch coming up. And pitching here today, Kodai Singa. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, he's got great stuff, but what makes his stuff even better is his delivery. Hides the ball for a very long time, high leg kick, and by the time the hitter sees it, it's right on top of him. Ready to go now. DJ LeMay Hugh to start it off. The pitch. And fouled off. And he deals. Swing and a miss. No that is strike two. Kelly just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Swing and a miss struck him out. Just overmatched on that fastball right there. And it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. And stepping in for the Yankees, number 61. And that one wrapped foul. Strike two. Just missed. It's a good take. One ball, two strikes. The next offering misses, and the count is even two and two. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Nasty fourth ball for strike three. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. It's Aaron Judge now. And Judge spoils that one. Two down, nobody on. Check swing, went around, and it's nothing in two. At the belt and fires. Good eye right there. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. So, man aboard, here is Glaber Torres. And it's fouled away. Torres, a guy the Yankees acquired for Aroldis Chapman back in 2016. He is fearless. You can't tell if he's been in this league for eight years or two years. Liner, base hit. And that moves the go-ahead run to scoring position with two gone. Back-to-back -back singles, nice line drive to the full side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. And that one finds its way through. Oh, caught up in a rundown now. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Yanks strand a pair. Now the Mets offense will go to work for the first time. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Queens, and on the hill, Michael King. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? 
He really relies on working down in the zone with that heavy sinker he's got. You know, it's not as popular to throw that pitch uh, today as it used to be because you know, guys are looking to hit balls down in the zone, get them up in the air. It's very important for him when facing same side hitters to be able to get it in, especially early in the count. Nope, and to opposite ball. guys be able to throw it at that front hip and run it over the inside corner. And the righty deals. That one finds the zone. Two and one now. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2 0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Left hand batter waits. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Bounce to the left side. Zips it across. Oh. One gone, bottom half of the first. Got it. Got it. The second base. Ronnie Mauricio oh, now. Mauricio. First pitch doesn't okay. find the zone. Fouled off left side. Swings and misses. And it's one and two. Clearly he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle two strikes. And now it's even up. Two balls, two strikes. Knocks it down. And he'll pull into second safely. Well, that was a throw that just shouldn't have been made. They scored a single and an error, so the official scorer doesn't believe a good throw would have gotten an out, and neither do I. You can't hear it from up here, but I wonder if anyone was telling him just to eat the throw. You know, that's where communication on the infield can sometimes help out a ton. Pete Alonso swings through it for strike one. This guy with light tower power. On the ground, right side, tosses the first, and that takes care of Alonzo. And now it's Frankie Lindor. We talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. On the ground to the left. Tosses to first. Lindor retired. That ends the frame. Mets strand one. Scoreless after one. The Mets with a new arm on the mound. Phil Bickford. And stepping in for the Yankees, Oswaldo Cabrera. And here it comes. There's a strike. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. And time called at the plate. Maybe trying to slow things down here at a crucial spot. Kicks and fires. Up the middle. Now the throw to first on the run. There to beat him by an eyelash. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Up the middle, dives, but it kicks off his glove. 
No throw, and the defense comes away with nothing. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Another throw over, and yeah, they're keeping him close. And the batter now, Kyle Higashioka. Pitches in for a strike. 0-1. Volpe at first, one gone. Run around the goal. It's a pitch out. And he's out at first. He can't get back. Two outs. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. On the mound, you take a note. You see the hitter's willingness to chase that pitch upstairs. Get deeper in the count. And try to climb the ladder. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Mendick brings it in for the third out. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Bottom of the second. Now it's the DH, Mark Vientos. The wind of the pitch. Ball one there. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So a change being made at first base on the pinch run for the Mets. Tim Locastro. No outs. Runner at first. And next for the Mets, Brett Beatty. Ball one, no strikes. Ball one, no strikes. Check on the runner. Locastro gets back easily. Runner at first with no outs here. That one ripped, but foul. Throw over to first. Locastro back easily. Righty delivers. That's through there for a strike. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out of a double play here. Pickoff throw. Locastro back in standing. Nobody out. Runner at first. Drive, base hit. Throw holds him at second, but the go-ahead run now in scoring position, and still nobody out. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Better in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. And now Francisco Alvarez. Move to second. There's the strike. No outs. Runners at first and second. King checks the runner. And Locastro dives back in. Next offering is in for a strike. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area.
Now he steps off and looks it back to second. Throw, and it gets away. Ian Hamilton gets the ball now, and never an easy situation coming in with runners at second and third. He's got a base to work with, so he doesn't have to be perfect, but he does have to make some quality pitches. A swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. And time is called for a mound visit now. Big moment in this game, so they'll talk it over. Now it's DJ Stewart. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Good eye right there. And I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. One down, runners at second and third. Next pitch misses, and it's two and two. Checks his swing, now would appeal to third. Yes, he did. Down he goes on strikes. Oh, that's a huge strikeout right there. Big second out. Infield was in. They were playing the full court press, and he got the swing and miss. Keeps this one tied. This next at bat should be a lot of fun. The odds of wiggling out of this just went up considerably. Danny Mendick up now for the Mets. First off, bringing it just misses. There's a strike. Two outs, two in scoring position. Swing and a miss. One, One and two. That's a little bit low. And a 2 2. Out towards left center. Cabrera. He ranges to his right. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out. New inning getting started. Here's the third baseman, Oswald Peraza. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Bickford back to work. Bunting, and it's in the air. On the run, sends it over to first. And they get him trying to bunt for a hit. Well, I think the defense was anticipating something here because they were really ready to defend as that ball was put down. Nice little drag bunt. But they get the out. Way to go. Back to the top of the Yankee order. Up to the plate steps D.J. LeMayhew. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. He swings and fouls one off. And a pitch. Way high there. It's a ball and two strikes. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in a 2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. And the right-hander deals. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. And 
Bat stepping in for the Yankees. Number 61. His first hit bat was a strikeout. And there's a foul ball. Bickford, 27 years old, a former first-round pick back in 2015. Time asked for it to play. Maybe an attempt to break up the rhythm that he's got going on the mound right now. And that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. In with a double, and the go-ahead runs at second with two out. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Had a huge opportunity now to grab the lead at this point in the game. Here is Aaron Judge. Got to be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. The run comes in to score from second. On the board first, it's one zip. Well, there you go. The RBI machine, another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. So two down. Here comes Glaber Torres. One for one with a single so far. On the ground to third. Beatty to first. And that'll do it. Well, they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a one-nothing ball game. You're dialed. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Rafael Ortega stands in. Clay Holmes comes on now. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball, and we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. And a pitch. Just yep, missed. And misses nope. inside. Two and zero to Cal. Here it comes. Swing and a miss at 99 miles an hour. Pitch is in there. That's strike two. Left hand hitter waits. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Here comes a pitch. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Still two and two after the foul ball. Strike three. Got him swinging. And one gone. That was a tough slider right there. He couldn't get a piece of it just to try to keep the at-bat alive. And... Hitters will tell you that slider when a guy's able to really tunnel the pitch where it looks like a fastball and then late has a really good bite. So tough to lay off of because you've made the decision. You don't want to get beat by a fastball and then you swing and you miss. You go back to the dugout shaking your head. And he deals. Foul ball still 0-2. And, and that off to the left and will do it again. The other way. Makes the grab for the second out. Up next to the net. The first base is Here's Pete Alonso. He's 0 for 1. And there's the strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Oh, 
Next offering is in for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Oh. And takes low for ball one. I don't know how you take that one after the called strike on the corner, just a little bit off the edge. Gets a piece and stays alive. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Swing and a miss, and that's the ball game. These three inning games often come down to who scores first. They found a way to push one across and hold on for the win. One nothing the final for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.